Ah, beautiful January morning. Welcome back to the farm. Today is going to be a quite busy, quite a busy day. Because if we take a look in here, I actually missed the best month for silage, which is a bit of, a bit of an issue. Uh, we can still get it at a fairly decent price, but we do need to act quickly. Now, in the last episode, I asked you guys whether or not we should change the economy difficulty from hard to medium. Well, normal. There's hard, normal, and easy. And we will be changing it to normal. You guys seem to agree. So that is what we're going to do, which is going to change the prices, actually. Before we could get it to like $200, now we'll be able to get it for about 336 This has improved the prices overall, making it a little bit less difficult. Now... We need to move the silage bales. Um, so we will, we will be needing some equipment for that. But I'm not sure what. Let's take a quick look at the used machinery. Interesting tractor. A uh, tree stump grinder and a sprayer which we definitely do not want. So for the silage bales we need to basically move them with a trailer. Now I was thinking this trailer but I think it is going to be too small. I don't know what exactly to buy in this case because well we need some sort of trailer then there are low loader trailers but I can't actually drive these without getting something like well a truck or this and I don't know how cheap it's going to be to lease Okay, 459, and to lease something like this would be 1,400. Uh, do we really need something this big, though? I would really n like to not lease something like this. This is really meant for equipment, <laughs> to move equipment around. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the only option we have, unless I head on over to Mudhub and see if we have... A proper trailer because I can't you I can't reuse an auto stacker because they're already raised up. Let me go ahead and check Mud Hub to see if there's a better trailer because right now we don't have very, very good options. So give me a second. All right, so I found this mod right here, small flatbed trailer, and I think this would do. Basically, we can adjust quite a few things. I'm pretty sure. Body configuration, flatbed. Log forks, tipper body, and flatbed. And flatbed is really what we need. So I think this is going to be perfect for our needs. Hitch configuration, flat frame. Ooh, okay. Interesting. We will take the free version. Don't really care about the color that much, as, yeah, that does cost extra. And we will be leasing it. We, I, um... I probably should buy this, shouldn't I? I probably should. Now that I think about it. Leasing it is only $790. Uh, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Buy, not buy, buy, not buy. We are selling letters. So we will need to move letters. I'm just going to buy it. It might be a bad buy, but... No, I don't think it will be. Because... I think we will need it. One thing that I think as well that we will need is a weight for our tractor because it has been struggling uh, before with certain things. So I want to get a pretty good size weight. And this, yeah, this might be it. We're going to buy this as well. So we've used quite a bit of money today, but it is going to be worth it. So let's head on over to the store. Let's grab the flatbread, the flat, flatbread, flatbed trailer, and the weight. Increase the time, and we will load those silage bales up, and we will sell them. I don't know how much money we're going to make. We might very well get the money for the trailer back. We will also be selling this uh, sausage. I was about to say no lettuce today. We could get, I believe, two thousand dollars per one thousand liters. We have quite a few pallets waiting, so this should be a good day of selling stuff. So I'm excited. Depending on how much money we get, I might consider buying the other field as well. There are basically two main things that I really want to get in the near future. And that is A, 
a new field, and I have my eyes on that field a lot. And two, uh, hmm. I guess I can take the weight on in the front, I think? But yeah, two, a new medium-sized tractor with more horsepower used, I might add. So, yeah, it's between those two. I mean, the, the field would, in the long run, give us more money. Whereas the tractor would just be a nice thing to have. Oh yeah, that's very good. I don't really need those ramps, but... I mean, hey. Oh. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that is actually sick. And I might get that bag of lime loaded as well. There we go. Put a strap on that. And we are good to go. Nice. Alright, head back to the farm. Equip the front loader. Equip the silage. And it's time to make some money. Oh yeah. Part of me love how this small tractor alone is taking care of our farm of four, currently four fields. Well, three, if you take into consideration that we combine the two. But technically four. Everything runs off of this one tractor that is used as well. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I, I, I kind of like the thought of that. But anyways, we are here, and time to position things up. So I'm gonna put the trailer here, I think. Probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. Well, actually, I do need to take that lime elsewhere. Gonna put the weight right there. Yep. I'll test that on the back in just a moment. I'm gonna get my front loader first. Move that lime. And then we're in business. Attached. Nice. Back in. Get the weight. Boom. This will help the tractor be stable because the silage bales are quite heavy. And now comes the tricky part of getting that lime bag. I'm just gonna put this together with the other lime. There we go. Nice. And now for the loading. I wonder... <laughs> I wonder how many of these I will be able to fit. Well, not fit, but carry. Because they're, like I said, quite heavy. Three might be pushing it, but... Here we go, I guess. Gonna try. Okay, I am going to lower these as low as I can, so I can actually lift. Okay, we are doing it. If we didn't have the weight, we would not be able to do this. <laughs> Three is really pushing it. Alright, I'm going to do this nice and steady. If I do this well enough, I should be able to fit all of them on. Very slowly does it. I am kind of overloading this tractor, I'm not gonna lie. But, we should be okay. Right there. Lower. We did it. Whew. Mission successful. Okay. I may or may not have held my breath there doing that. <laughs> okay, these should be fairly easy. In fact, I think I'm going to time lapse the rest of this. This might be entertaining to watch.
All right, uh, time to transport. Now, I do remember that we have the round bales as well. We should have to ride around here. Am I able to attach this? Right under the weight. Wow. Okay, uh, I believe I need... Should be able to... There we go. L. Right. That way they won't go flying. Okay, uh, I should probably detach this weight. Probably don't need it, but... You know what? We're gonna go with it. We are gonna go with it. Now, where is going to be the best place to sell the silage? Let's take a look. Uh, biogas plant. Biogas plant it is. In that direction. Alright. I'm gonna put the front loader here, I think, actually. Just because I don't need it on the way. Alright, yeah, we do have the three bales over there. I don't think I would be able to fit them on very well. This trailer is ours, though. I kind of forgot that we just outright bought this. So let's get to the biogas plant. Hopefully there's no big hills in the way. And let's make some money. But the tractor is overworked <laughs> in that specific scenario. It uh, it almost went wrong multiple times, but we, we, we managed. This tractor pulled through. But yeah, we, uh, we do need more machinery in the very near future. And it's not even the engine of this tractor. It's just that it's small, not as heavy, I guess. I could put a heavier like weight on the back, but yeah, I don't think that would do much. Okay, I think we need to turn left, not here, but here, into the biogas plant. Yep. So apparently these silage bales are going to be converted into biogas. That's cool. Alright, here we go. Uh, hmm. How am I gonna manage this? I'm not sure where I need to go. We have 78,000 liters in total. How am I supposed to get it up, get up there? Uh... Hmm. I think ideally I'm supposed to unload them from the top there. But maybe this works? Or not? I... It says here. Hmm. No, I definitely don't want to buy it for one million. <laughs> what am I supposed to like... Put it in here or something? I guess I am. Huh. In my defense, those were not great instructions. But I guess I need to put it into those containers. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to just drive up here. I doubt it though. Nope. And this isn't cutting it either. Right, I'm gonna have to get my front loader anyway. That's annoying. That's really annoying actually. <laughs> Alright, here we are again. Let's see if this is going to work. Hopefully it is. Uh, there's an tension belt. I just want to make sure it doesn't say that, cut open bail. It needs to be... There we go. I'm going to take... I'm going to start off with one here. I did just save the game, so I'm just gonna take two and hope for the best. So, I would assume they go in here. They do! So, that was $4,466 for two bales. Alright, well, we started off with 44000 Let us see how much money we get when I'm done unloading all these. Initiate time lapse. Let's go.
Alright, final bail. Or final bails, I should say. Done. And according to my calculations, we have made $23,000 from those silage bales. And we're still missing the other three back home. But so far, $23,000 in silage bales from crowd contracts that we also got a pretty decent amount of money from. So, in general, not bad at all. And I do apologize if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Watching me load and unload was painful. Believe me, it was painful for me as well. I have used, like, this kind of equipment before, but definitely it was not with a mouse. <laughs> Which made it a whole lot easier. I am really happy that we bought this trailer, though. It's going to be very useful in the future, especially when we need to sell the letters, which we also need to do today. Oh, boy. I'm not looking forward to stacking that. I might do that by hand. Okay, now how am I gonna... Hmm. This is gonna be interesting, but not impossible. Uh... Two... Got it. And... I think I should be able to fit in between those. Yep. Now I don't remember how... big these silage bales are. Hmm. Pretty decent size. 33... 3500 liters. So that's gonna be... Six... Uh, yeah, about 10,000. Not too bad. Alright, let me load these up real quick, and we'll get them sold. All loaded up. Test the trailer. Tension belts. And let's go. I'm going to guess that we're gonna get about $4,000 from this load, I think. Because it's about $340 dollars per 1,000 liters, and we have 10,000, so I think we'll probably get around $4,000. Feel free to put your guess down below in the comments. I kind of do wish, however, that there was an easier way of unloading this, but... There is not. Oh, wait. Need to... Do that. There we go. Alright, unloading time. Will I be able to do this in first person? I think I can. Not only that, I grabbed two at a time. Would you look at that? Now can I unload from first person? Gotta be closer. There we go. Drop them in. Boom. 2,400. All right. And final one. One thousand two hundred, so in total three thousand and six hundred. That's not too far off my guess. I'm pretty happy with that. So in to what on earth happened there? In total we now get seventy four. I was gonna round up, but to be precise, seven seventy four thousand nine hundred and sixty four dollars. Not too bad at all. And we haven't even sold the letters yet, which is going to be really exciting. All right, back at the farm. Now this time, I will be loading the letters pallets by hand, I think. I think that is fair. I feel like I've loaded enough for today. <laughs> loading these with the tractor is going to be an absolute pain. Um, yeah, I, I, think that, I think that's fair enough. Let's close that engine off. We should be able to fit quite a lot on here. Hopefully, anyway. Not to mention that I also want to be able to... Well, have a neater stack than... Well, what I can do with the tractor. So, I'm gonna do this real quick. We should be able to get a fairly good load here. It's gonna look impressive when we drive into the shop. 
How? I wonder how much. So, whoa. <laughs> we got flying letters. We got 500 liters per pallet. So, I mean, that's 1,500. I wonder how many pallets we're going to have when we're done here. Second batch done. Now this one. And the greenhouses will need some water pretty soon. But I think we can wait a few months. We still have about 3,000 liters in there. So we should be okay for a few months. Yeah, we have quite a few pallets. This is good money. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to stack them like this if I used... <laughs> if I used the tractor. I'm pretty happy with this. There we go. Fresh, organic letters. Did I see another strap? I did indeed. Haha. -ha. Alright, what is the best place to sell letters then? We want the best price. Letters. Uh, 2100 is a grocery mart. I have no idea where that is. Oh! It's literally right up the road. Well, that couldn't be more perfect, honestly. Look at this. That is looking cool. Alright. Now where to put this? Alright. Right here. Let's see how much money we get. All of it is being sold. Look at the money go up. This is the most money we have ever earned in one episode, I think. Twelve thousand dollars. Not bad from, from that batch of letters. That's really not bad. So we are finishing off with $87,955. Nice. And we haven't sold the soybeans yet. They are not at a great price. That will be in February, most likely, I think. So that is everything we have to sell so far. And I am happy, uh, I'm happy with this. Uh, any traffic? Nope. All right. We be good. Nice, and we got this brand new trailer to use from now on. That's pretty cool. We will be using this probably a lot in the future. Now the question is, where am I going to place all this equipment? I need a shed soon. <laughs> I am running out of storage space for all this stuff, not gonna lie. This can go here. Uh, there we go. The trailer, if I can maneuver it back here, can go right up against this wall. Don't hit the weird bathtub. Perfect. And that would be this one. Now I gotta put the weight somewhere as well. I guess that fits right by the tree. Boom. And that is a job well done for today, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. What is the water? Yep, 3,300. Now, about this field. It is fertilized 50%, the yield bonus is 75%, and it is growing, and it's barley. I am tempted. I'm very tempted because we have the money. Now, someone in the uh, comments in the last episode did say that this is an odd f uh, field shape and that this, or this for that matter, would be better. And I do 100% agree. And I could... I could save the money for like 51 or 50. But... This is a pretty good size. It is probably just as big as field 47. Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, probably a little bit smaller. But within our given our price range and given that we potentially want to buy a used and more powerful tractor in the future, given our money, I think this is going to be the best we can get for our money. But the question is, can I push it even further and hope that the owner 
gives it even more manure or something like that to get the fertilization up to 100%. That's my question. Probably can. It's not going to get finished within a month, I don't think. So, yeah. Do we need lime? None of the fields need lime. We're good. They do need rolling, but again, we'll do that when we sow in the canola, which will be in... Oh, wait a minute. I thought the canola was in March. It's in August. That's a long time to wait. Uh, hmm. Well then, that changes things a bit. Uh, I really want to put in canola, but that's almost half a year from now. Huh. Well, we could put in oat or sunflowers in March, or we could wait for April to put in corn or soybeans or sorghum, which sorghum and soybeans are pretty good options. But the cedar, though, we have is painful to work with. Hmm. And we definitely do not have the money for something like this. That directly direct drills it. We could. How much is it to lease? 5,500. We don't even have the horsepower to pull it, so we wouldn't be able to do that. Our current cedar is worth 20,000, 18,000, so probably 20,000 when we service it. So we could potentially spend 20,000 extra, but that's, that's not even for an extra meter, though. I'm starting to think maybe we should start leasing a cedar, like something like this. It's 2,500, but the working width is 4 meters. That's not even that much bigger. I might... Uh, I'll have to think about this. I definitely want to buy this field, though. But I'm going to wait at least a month before doing that. Um, but yeah, I think we, we might have to seed something else then. Because that's a very long time to wait. If we put in oats... If we time this right, we can put in oats. We harvest it July. And then we put in canola in August. That's one way of going about things. I think that is the only crop that we can put in and then right after put something else in. So I think we'll do that. We're going to put in oats in all the fields. We might even make bales next time. Or this time, I should say. But I do want to chop it to get one stage of fertilization. We'll see. Uh, I'll do some thinking. And you guys can leave suggestions down below in the comments. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But yeah, I hope to see you. In the next episode, have a wonderful day and goodbye.